Hi everyone, it's Simon here. I hope you're well. Uh, as we approach 2019, I thought it'd be interesting to run through what I want to do with higher plane games in 2019, just so that you know what's coming uh, and to hopefully keep you interested for the future. 2018, though, was an interesting year because after years of having a steady decline in uh, viewership and watch time on YouTube, and I think that's systemic because of the fact that the platform is really quite saturated now and it's quite difficult to stick out. Towards the end of 2018, that seemed to level off and stabilise, which was really interesting. And when I looked at why, it's essentially my game reviews are picking up quite a few hundred hits, uh, in some cases into the thousands now. And that's been really, really pleasing and great. And it's much different to the Let's Plays that I put out, where I'm getting like 10, 20 views um, per video. So yeah, it's been really interesting because it's the Let's Plays that people asked for in 2018, but it's the things that people watch the least. So for 2019, I'm going with my analytics. I'm going to be spending more time doing game reviews. I'm going to make sure that they're a bit more structured uh, than what they currently are. But it seems like the format that I use is working to a degree for game reviews. So I'm not going to change it around too much. It's just that they're much more structured than what they were, say, in 2016, for example, where I'd ramble for half an hour. Now I'm much more to the uh, succinct and to the point. So yay me! And it seems to be working. So more of that in the future. I'm still going to be sticking with themed days for what I'm doing with my Let's Plays, but um, there's probably just going to be less of them. Or when, I guess for me, Let's Plays is helping me get through my backlog of gaming. And particularly when I get the Pound Technology PS1, PS2 HDMI cable through in January, it's going to let me get back to my retro games because I'm hoping that will solve my game capture problem that I've got specifically with PS2 games. Uh, which my capture card just will not capture for the love of day. So, fingers crossed, that will solve the problem. Because I've got quite a lot of requests that have come through for the old PS1, PS2 era games, which is what I think my channel was initially um, bringing people in for. So, yay, they will be coming by hook or by crook. I'll work it out eventually. But uh, the focus will be on game reviews. The other thing that's worthwhile mentioning is that this website, uh, sorry, this YouTube channel will pair up with higherplanegames.com as a website and I'll be looking at what content works on both. I've poked and prodded around with higherplanegames.com as an idea and a website for about 18 months, but it's always a thing that has been the casualty because I've had a really stressful job for the last couple of years and I, it's never been a nine to five job for me. It's been like an seven to nine job. <laughs> which feels horrible and I'm coming through it and I'm doing all of this content at like 11 o'clock through to three in the morning and waking up absolutely knackered and it's been fine for a couple of years but I'm shattered of doing it so for 2019 I'm trying to get that work-life balance a bit better so that that then enables me to focus on this website so that I can pair it up with the YouTube channel and get that content working for both because I think what's stuck out for me is that whenever I've seen my stuff quoted from uh, PR companies or developers or publishers it's always the written stuff that I put alongside the video that they quote and they don't like linking to the video so if I can get them to link to my text and in the video is oh, embedded for me that's a win-win and then it starts to well, I start to become my own platform and I'm not reliant on whether YouTube wants to support me or not if that makes sense. Alongside that, though, there are some other things that I want to bring into the channel. The first one is a games development section. Now, I did want this in 2018, but it was entirely dependent on when Dreams for PS4 becomes available. That's in closed beta at the moment, and it becomes public beta in the end of January. And when I look at that game, it is everything that I want in a toolkit that allows someone who's creative and has lots and lots of ideas to get cracking on game development without knowing any code. And that just makes me wet on the inside and outside. <laughs> Sorry for the imagery. Um, so what I want to do is to basically use this as a cornerstone for my games development section. I want to be able to create stuff. I'm going to live stream it. I'm going to share it all with you so that you can go and remix it and put it into new styles. I want to make interactive stories, cutscenes, musical interludes, all of that kind of stuff. I'm so excited for that game. But I've also got stuff like visual novel builders, RPG maker, and they've started splitting out into new things as well. I've also bought a C++ course on udemy.com uh, to start to see 
How easy is it to learn code? How can you put it into practice? And I think it'd be quite interesting to see that journey kind of go through and see just how thick I am. <laughs> or how, how easy is it for a thick person to be able to learn all of this stuff? Um, and I hope that would be interesting to people as well. Um, it's something I want to do and I'm going to put it on the channel uh, regardless of if you want it or not. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it will interest some people. The other things I want to do is to look at getting the scripted um, series out. So last year I wanted to do a music series and a racing series. They're still on my to-do list but it will be later in 2019 just because I need to get the website up and running first. Um, I'm and Outside of this channel I'm also working on finishing off uh, a music album uh, amongst other things. So they come first at the moment but I'll circle around to that in the second half of 2019. I also am looking at getting an indie game show up and running as well so that I can actually talk in interviews to the indie gamers, so um, indie game developers, so that they can share exactly how they build stuff. And that will tie into the games development side of stuff as well. So in my head, it makes sense. Uh, and the last things that I'll be looking at, maybe towards the back end of 2019, start of 2020, is to get some kit that allows me to then go out to conventions so that I can then... Um, screen capture stuff on a uh, showroom floor but then also interview the developers at the time go around do a bit of live streaming a bit of to camera stuff uh, and be a little bit more um, high-end production as opposed to low-end trash <laughs> uh, 2020 we'll probably see my first go at trying to do some kind of higher plane games convention I did think about doing it for 2019 but I just think I don't really have the audience to bring people together but the idea is that I hire out like a room in a pub somewhere bring along the PS4 and some PC I've got a crap ton of local multiplayer games or high school challenges we all just get drunk have some games and then I'll dish out some prizes for the winners and record it all I think it'd be a good laugh and, and I might do it like low-key with some mates and get like 10 or 12 of us all together um, and record it all I think it would still be funny uh, but maybe I'll do it officially as like a you can come along for 2020. If any of this sounds like it's going to be exciting or good for you, I do run a Patreon campaign. It is by no means obligatory or mandatory to come along and support me. Uh, but I do have a one dollar, a four, uh, a three dollar and a five dollar tier. Um, that might be one, five and ten, but it will be changing soon to one, three and five. Uh, and that gives you lets you support not just this but also my music websites my music channel and i also run a disaster movies website as well uh so yeah if you fancy it pop along but there's by no means mandatory um, it just really helps me out with website costs thank you so much for staying with me hopefully for 2019 if you do have any requests of anything that you'd like to see played pop them in the comments below and i'll catch you in the new year thanks for watching bye